Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson, and this is your news update for the Maki -E for the first week of October. As I predicted in my last video, the news updates for the Maki -E are coming quicker and quicker as we get close to production. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of all the updates as I publish them. Now, let's get started. One stat that a lot of people have been anxious to find out more about, the zero to 60 times for the Mustang Mach-E. Previously, they have put up like sort of range estimates of what they thought the Mach-E could do. For example, the premium all wheel drive extended range is estimated to do zero to 60 in the mid five seconds. But recently Ford has updated their website with more details and slightly faster numbers for all models. Here are all the numbers as listed by Ford on the Mach-E website. And as you can see that premium all wheel drive extended range is now listed as having a zero to 60 time of 4.8 seconds, which is definitely a quite a bit faster than that 5.5 or mid five second range that they listed before. It's also interesting to note that the 4.8 second zero to 60 time is on par with other EVs, AKA the long range Model Y edition. As you can see, the zero to 60 times vary based on all wheel drive versus rear wheel drive and standard range versus extended range. But all of these numbers are slightly boosted versus the estimates that were originally published for the Mach-E. The GT is still a little further out from production than the other models. And if you look here, you'll see that the zero to 60 time is actually a zero to 62 mile per hour time. And that's because this number is from Ford of Europe and they tested the zero to 100 kilometers per hour. And the GT right now looks like it has a 3.7 second time for zero to 62 miles per hour. If you want to examine all these numbers in detail, I will put a link in the description so you can click on that and check them out for yourself. What's even better than a faster Mach-E? Well, I think that would be a cheaper Mach-E and Ford announced on September 29th that it is lowering the price on all Mach-E's. The price drop varies from $1,000 to $3,000 depending on which model you're looking at. Some of the initial speculation about why Ford was doing the price drop was that maybe the sales of the Mach-E are a little bit soft, but there are sources out there that are saying that there are over 50,000 orders for the Mach-E already confirmed and Ford's capacity for the first year production of the Mach-E is only 50,000. So it isn't due to the soft market for the Mach-E. What Ford is saying is that they lower the price to remain competitive in this new emerging EV marketplace. This makes a lot of sense after the recent introduction of the VW ID4, which is pretty comparable to the Mach-E and about the same price, as well as the fact that Tesla lowered the price of the Model Y just a few months ago. One very cool thing about this, Ford is actually making the price cut retroactive to all orders that are currently in place. So I put my order in back in June and got the notification that the price on my Mach-E had been lowered as well. So that's very cool. I think this is great news for anyone considering a Mach-E, and it also just goes to show that Ford is very dedicated to making the Mach-E competitive and reinventing the way that they do business. If you want to see all the numbers for the exact cost of every model, you can follow the link in the description and that'll be there as well. Of course, one of the most important questions that anybody that has an order in for a Mach-E wants to know is when are we gonna get our Mach-E's? Ford is officially saying that deliveries will start at the end of 2020, which basically probably means, you know, late December. But if you look out on the internet and in the Mach-E forums, you can dig around and find out about what's really going on with the Mach-E production. Right now, production at the assembly plant for the Mach-E is ramping up, but the cars that they're producing right now aren't customer cars. They are sort of uh, demos and marketing vehicles that will not actually make their way to customer hands directly. Some of these are gonna be used as like test drive cars or for marketing purposes by Ford. As I mentioned in one of my previous updates, the scheduled start of official full production of customer cars is scheduled for October 26. There are some rumors that that may be pushed up some, but uh, nothing has been confirmed yet. And once the Mach-E goes into full production, 
those vehicles won't just get shipped directly out to customers or to dealers. What happens is, is they will get uh, stacked up in a parking lot that's next to the assembly plant. They'll probably collect close to 3,000 vehicles all at once. The Ford inspectors will go over and look for any problems, any issues that are in those vehicles, as well as government inspectors to make sure they are in full compliance with all safety regulations. And then after that, there will be an okay to buy. Once that's done, the cars will be, then be loaded up onto trains for shipment and transport you know, to the dealers and then finally to customers. The rumor is, is that the okay to buy is expected to come about November 23rd. And then after that, it'll take anywhere from you know four to five weeks to get those cars out to customers. There is some speculation that Ford is ahead of schedule. And just last night, someone posted some pictures on the Mach-E forums of what they said was the first customer production vehicle, uh, production Mach-E that rolled off the assembly line. It was a red first edition, as you can see here, looks very sharp. As I said, it was indicated that this was a customer car, but there is some ambiguity about what that actually means. Is it a you know demo unit that's going to a special customer or uh, is a dealer considered a customer? We're not really sure right now, but it you know still is good news and it's nice to have photos from inside the factory like this. And whatever the case, we're actually getting pretty darn close to seeing people out there driving around in their own Mach-E. So I'm getting pretty excited and I can't wait to get mine, hoping to get it in December if at all possible. As part of the run up to the full production of the Mach-E, Ford has launched a series of webinars. It's a four week series each Thursday. And so far they've covered in week one, the exterior design of the Mach-E. Week two, they covered the SYNC 4A system, that's the infotainment system. And then in week three, they covered the interior design of the Mach-E. Week four is coming up this Thursday and they will be covering the performance of the Mach-E. I won't go into detail on everything that's been talked about in each of these webinars. Each one is about an hour long and I've recorded each one of them and put them into a playlist. So if you're interested, I'll pop that up here as well as put a link in the description and you can check them all out as well as the one coming up on Thursday. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification so you get notified when I upload that video. One of the cool things about these webinars is that they are being led by the actual designers and engineers behind the Mach-E. So although you still get some like marketing speak in the webinars, they actually cover, you know, behind the scenes of the design process of the Mach-E and it's been pretty informative overall. Each webinar is done uh, with a presentation followed by a Q&A session, so very informative. Recommend you check those out. I do have a couple of news items that are not specific to the Mach-E, but are Mach-E related. First, on September 23rd, Governor Gavin Newsom signed a mandate that said that all new passenger cars in California would have to be zero emissions by 2035. This is huge news. The market for new cars in California is huge, and they've always sort of led the way in reduced emissions on vehicles. I think this could really accelerate the pace of adoption of EVs, not only in California, but throughout the US. So this is awesome news. It could be challenged by the federal government, so we'll have to wait and see on that. A lot of that will depend on what happens in this election. And who knows, one of the successors to Governor Newsom could also rescind this order. And one cool thing to note about this mandate, it was actually signed by Governor Newsom on the hood of a red Mustang Mach-E. I thought that was pretty cool and it was great visibility for the Mach-E. And in the final news item, I should mention that Jim Farley is now the new CEO of Ford as of October 1st. If you don't know Jim, supposedly he was one of the guys that was in charge of the direction of the Mach-E in the early days. And at that time they were looking at doing a sort of like just compliance, boring, regular old SUV that would just basically be to get an electric vehicle out there. And he was the one that guided them and steered them toward doing what was then known as a Mustang inspired uh, electric vehicle. By pushing the program in that direction, it really sort of changed the feel of what they were looking at. It sort of uh, changed everybody's attitude. And now we have the great vehicle that we are getting ready to get, which is the Mustang Mach-E. Jim Farley has a long history in the automotive industry, but even more than that, he's sort of known as a car guy to everyone. Apparently he collects like old cars, works on them himself, even takes them out to the racetrack. And Bill Ford, the great grandson of Henry Ford, has called Jim Farley a car guy through and through. 
I think this is an exciting step for Ford. They have a tough road ahead with the current economic environment and the difficulty of transitioning over to electric vehicles. But Jim Farley seems like he is very dedicated to that end result and being aggressive in how they attack the market and come up with new designs. Well, that's all the news I have for this week. Make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification icon so that you'll get notified of any other stuff I upload. And don't forget, check the description for all the links that I mentioned in this video.